All right, so I posted something to LinkedIn recently that snowballed into an article uh, for good reason, hopefully value for you. But the question that I proposed on LinkedIn was, which is a better indicator of product market fit for an early stage software company? A company with 1 million in annual recurring revenue, 50% of which is derived from partnerships versus a company with 10 million in ARR, 10% of which is derived from partnerships. Some really bright individuals like Justin Gracie from HubSpot, Corey Snyder from Sendoso, Ty Lingley from Microsoft, Connor Jeffers from Aptitude 8, all chimed in, most of which, 65% of the respondents or 60 or so votes, said that the company with more annual recurring revenue is the company that has stronger product market fit. Now, I, I like to uh, push back on the common belief a little bit and my reasonings for voting that the 1 million ARR company and 50% of which drive from partnerships is the company with stronger product market fit, if you're interested, are as follows. Recent history has shown us that more revenue, while it can mean a better sales team, maybe it meant you were first to market or maybe you had a better PR team, doesn't mean that you have product market fit. In fact, those companies with more partnerships early on are shown to quickly outpace the revenue growth of those with fewer partnerships. And I cite a very relevant example of Zoho in 2010 versus HubSpot in 2010. Zoho had uh, not invested much in partnerships and had about 100 million in revenue. And they were ramping up their partnerships efforts led by Pete Caputo. Now, fast forward to 2022, Zoho reported 1 billion in annual revenues while HubSpot was closer to 2 billion in annual revenue. HubSpot has 7,000 partners, Zoho has 500 or something like that. And I mentioned Sugar CRM as, as uh, the third comparison there, so you can check out that. And that is a perfect example of a company that had tremendous revenue versus a company that was investing in partnerships that had one-tenth the revenue. Uh, my reason number two is having active partners means third parties, these savvy businesses, are betting on you. Now, if third parties are betting on your business, this means that they're going to support you. They're going to market, they're going to sell, they're going to refer, they're going to help you on the product side. You can spend more of your time and effort and resources on product innovation, which would strengthen your product market fit while those competitors of yours are focusing on investing in sales and marketing to ramp up customers, that doesn't mean that they have a stronger product market fit. Reason number three, agencies, service providers, solutions providers are way ahead of the software buyers themselves. Coming from an agency background, I know this, we as agencies need to be way ahead of the buyers, six months, a year in advance. We need to purchase software and make decisions strategically for what's to come while the buyers that are going direct to software, they're solving a problem they need right now. That means better foundation. That means a better platform for growth. And that means a stronger indication, in my opinion, that you have product market fit. Please let me know your feedback, comments, opinions, one way or the other. I know it's polarizing, but that's what makes this kind of stuff fun. Hope you liked it. Enjoy, and obviously subscribe to our newsletter if you like this kind of um, content. Take care.